brother and sister Mello, what's going on this brother wisdom? I just want to talk about antimatter. One thing we gotta understand is that antimatter is within us. Antimatter is an is is an energy. It's a light energy that is within us. Alright? We are and we are we are very powerful beings of melanin. Okay? Very, very powerful beings of melanin. And the matter there is a there is an energy that's that's within us that is pretty much an antimatter that's why you feel that heat that is within you all right the antimatter or it's a it's an energy these these work beings call it antimatter because the energy that we have within us is against their material all right matter is a is a, is a type of material so it's a the energy that's within us is against their material all right we have to understand that they are not us and we are not them all right um antimatter cannot be created by cern or any other type of of machinery that they uh try to create they they'll always try to create some type of uh energy and you know they'll put it on the um movie sceneries or whatever it says or we create antimatter and they use all these theatrics or whatever but they have never they have not a been able to recreate antimatter or this energy this light energy that 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 uh we used on our planet the only way to create this type of energy this type of bright energy is through nature all right with all the natural elements you got your your copper your silver your uh, uh aluminum your gold your bronze i mean these different these different uh uh elements you have the wood you have all your stone your different stones your crystals and whatever you know and and the crystal is the main part of the so-called antimatter or that energy of light so um the so-called antimatter is against them this beam of light which is pure negative energy they cannot create it they are positive energy beings which means that this energy that's within us we get it on the outside of us this is your dragon ball z all right when they see when you see dragon ball z all lit up and on fire that's antimatter what this what these work beings call antimatter which is a full force of light energy all around us and what happens is when we're in full force of this light energy they will literally dissipate in our place in our presence they would explode remember they are positive energy beings so we are negative energy beings so you take a positive wire and that's charged and you take a negative wire that's charged and you put them together and you have an explosion which means the two of them cannot exist in the same area negative will work uh, great with negative energy positive will work great with positive energy okay so this is why they had to destroy the towers when they came to our planet because they were full of this negative energy what they call antimatter this light energy so if we were to be in the presence of true antimatter all right we will literally instantly become what you call super saiyans all right we will instantly become the superman the batman all right this is why it's important for us to be in, to to be to begin recreating um i want to i'm believe me I'm, I'm getting ready to do the videos it's just that uh, you know i had i've been having a lot of things i had to do lately and um i've been in contact with you know with a lot of guys a lot of you guys lately but um uh in, in, the, in the last couple of days but um this this energy that's within us this heat that's within us is what you what this is what they call antimatter it's a light that's within us so we have got to work to create the light that's within us so that it can be on the outside again once we get it on the outside again then we can all begin to uh move into a higher level of power and a higher level of energy all right it's all about building and creating the antimatter. So the, the 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 negative energy that gives off is against the positive energy that's within them. Okay, that's that's and that's the the, the clear basis of this. They cannot survive this energy, and once we go into this power that's within us, these uh, work beings will literally 
uh, disintegrate. They were they were they were they would explode. They were they will combust. They will instantly combust. So it's it's important that we understand the power of antimatter. All right, um, copper pipes in the ground. Um, you got your zinc in the ground, or your your um, and and we have to we have to learn how to build the towers with the wood and the copper and and the zinc and using the crystals and different frequencies. We're going to talk about that a little later. But I just wanted to tap, uh, touch on touch basis on on uh, pure antimatter um, and what antimatter really is is that energy that's within our um, within our bodies within our melanin bodies. All right, because we're carbon. It's, it's a carbon energy. It's a pure carbon energy that's within our melanin bodies. And it's time that we get ready to tap into that energy. It's time we begin to recreate that energy. Okay, my people. All power to the multi-sharker people of melanin. Peace to you all.